Right, how you all doing? It's adventure day. Adventure day. So it's going to be a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but. Uh, I've put my strap on. Keep your minds clean. Look. 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 Yeah. Strapped on. I'll be back to see you all later. Family. Ouch! Oh my! Oh, you're gonna get paid! Big Punch man's it. good. <laughs> Ow! Die's good. I'm gonna be a good house star and clean up. Yes. Is there anything you don't want me to clean up? Not a clue. What's the laptop doing? Uh, uploading the vlog. Right. Yeah, it's fine. Just, it I'll it's just, done. I'll just. Yeah. No, I'll, 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 I'll do. Yep. No, I'll close it once it's done. I'm, I'm capable of reading. I am. Oh yeah. yeah. I didn't know that was available in your model. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny human. Yes. You good? Yes. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm watching season four now. Okay. Be good. There's no forget what about me. What about me? I've been given a packed lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so we're off on our way to Margate. Lunch and a drink. Yeah, we had a minor technical difficulty. <laughs> Dad's opened his drink and it's just like exploded all over the back window. That was great. Oh. <laughs> Stuck his arm outside the window, opened the lid. <gasps> it's like a wee geyser. <laughs> <laughs> Top road trip. <laughs> Tenth floor <laughs> number. <laughs> I've realised we haven't actually mentioned why we come to market. But if anyone's curious, if anyone's really curious, which I'm sure no one is, uh, Margate is approximately 180 miles from Lowestoft. So it's a hell of a trip there and back for a pickup. We've made the pickup. I'll show you. Stopped off at a services on the way back. It's quite a trip, it's actually an all right place. This is uh, south, or southeast. We're on the east coast, low stop. So, straight down. Fire London for some reason. Then you've got think, what have I got there? I've got more than a couple. What a great, great question and answer around there. What if a crack? Fucking walk on it, doesn't it? That's such a Charlie response, that is. But they got all these SOS things and this, that, and the other. Well, it's the same as the tunnel in the fucking in the channel. Man. That's just there to make you feel safe. <laughs> That's not going to do fuck all. Well, there's a bloody lot of water up there, isn't there? Ah, well. There's a lot of weight up there. Ah, yeah, you know. It comes in, it, oh my goodness. I hate to say it, Mum, but that water started coming in your brown bread regardless of how many SOS phones well, they put yeah. in. Unless that's like a little tube yeah, channel. Yeah, that's like a bridge go up like Bridge! Right, made it back. So it's time for the reveal. We went all the way to Margate to pick up this. It is a BC Rich Warlock four string bass. 
it's a bass guitar that I've wanted for a long, long, long time. I am not a bass guitarist by any stretch. I'm not even really a guitarist. I choose to play guitar. I have never played bass guitar in my life, but one of my favorite bass players played one of those. Dan Lilker of uh, Stormtroopers of Death, Brutal Truth, Nuclear Assault, and a, a long list of, of other bands. He played, for years, a BC Rich Warlock. Although I was, I'm not entirely sure if he played a four or a five string. Not that that really matters. He played a BC Rich Warlock, and ever since I saw him with a BC Rich Warlock, um, I've wanted one. Be it a, a bass or a six string or more. And, uh, you know, this one came up, and it was cheap, very cheap. I've not seen a BC Rich. Nor am I, like, if I go to Morlins in town, assuming it's still open, there's probably, like, BC Riches, like, all over the place, but I've never seen a Warlock in person. And this one came up, and it was incredibly cheap. I even got money off of it. Um, it's got a few dings. It's got some scratches on the back. This on the back for the money I paid for that base well <laughs> I paid a lot less than a hundred um, I think what did I pay like 60 70 no way more than 80 and it didn't cost us a whole hell of a lot in diesel to go down to Margate to get it uh, it cost us very little to go down and get it. And it was actually a, a kind of a, a fun, laugh, choky day out with my parents. Uh, that I didn't record a whole hell of a lot of because my phone's battery was running out. I was doing the whole the whole vlog on my phone again. And the idea was I was going to live stream part of it too. But, you know, uh, I've got to say thank you to the chap who sold it to me, which might sound really silly, um, you know, but just like, you know, much love to you and your partner, um, especially give you know, chap's not going to see this. Give your missus a big hug and a thank you from us, seriously, because um, I'm sure there are like a hundred and one other things that you guys could have been doing today other than uh, waiting for me to come and pick up a base from like the <laughs> from like. You know, hundreds of miles away, uh, because I, I was awkward and picked like the the busiest weekend for them to come in and pick up the base. And um, yeah, I I felt a bit rude if I had to be honest. I'm not particularly great around new people, nor am I a particularly social guy. I don't exactly, even though I tell people to, I don't exactly radiate confidence like a, a supernova. And so I I walk up to the house. And I, I ring the doorbell. I was already feeling a bit because we've been in the car for so long. And I pretty much the sec and this is gonna sound really stupid. Like I ring the doorbell, and um, the chap's missus opens the door, and I'm kind of like taken taken aback. Like I'm a bit like shock. Why? Because I rang the door, but like she was really quick to open the door, and it kind of threw me off a bit. And I'm like, uh, hi, I'm here to to pick up uh, a base. She's like, this one? I go, that's the one. That's the beauty. And I was really kind of like, <gasps> taken aback at this point. Um, this, she hands me this gorgeous bass guitar. She daintily, bless her, picks it up. She's like, I'm worried I'm going to drop it. I go, don't worry, I'll probably drop it on the way to the car. <laughs> um, she hands me the, the guitar and the, um, and the stand. And I just kind of like take it off the stand. And I look it over. Oh, this, is, this thing's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm like, thank you, thank you very much. Um, and then I, I turn, I say, you know, I, I hope you have a good day. And I turn and I, I walk away. And she says, bye. And I say, see ya. And I like, literally, like, I'm giggling, practically skipping to the car uh, to, to get the base to the, to the car. Um, <laughs> and it was, it was great. Just thank you. Um, I wish I could have met the chap as well who, who, uh, who the base belonged to. Um, it would just been interesting to have a little chat, but that is a beauty. Like, like I said, I've wanted a warlock for years, 
and um, I've already I've tuned it up. I've had a little go on it. Um, it's fun. It is fun. Bass is a, a a very fun instrument for anyone that slags off bass. That that has been pretty fun. Um, I thought I'd try um, pick to start with, but I, I ended up uh, going finger style on it, and it's pretty comfortable. It's pretty comfortable. Uh, it's gonna take a bit of getting used to because that is a big old instrument. Bass is very heavy compared to um, other stuff I've played before. Um, but that's just wow. Um, now, Inky and the boys seem to have had a fun old time. They've been uh, baking and making biscuits and cakes and cookies and things. Noodle has told me that I have to have one. Uh, I haven't had one yet. I'm, I hope they've had a, a pretty good day. I hope they've had a good day. They've said they've had a good day, but you know, I wasn't here to experience it with them, so I hope they've had a good day. Um, and Inky Blesser has been, she must have been running around like crazy. She has cleaned the entire house. Like the games room, opened up the door to the games room and it's like, you can see the floor. <laughs> what, what's this? There's carpet in here. Where's all my wires? Where's all the junk that I had on the floor? What What is this carpet stuff? You mean there was a carpet in here? Of course there was a carpet in there. I, just, I, was, I was working on like a million and one things and I was too lazy to clean up. I have no idea where the hell she's put half of that stuff. I'm going to have to kind of go in there and tear it apart and make a mess of the place just so I can find out where the hell half of it's gone. But um, she's done a she's done a cracking job there. Oh, <laughs> look at that face! But uh, I guess that's my name, as if you can hear that. Uh, but I'm gonna head off. I've had a great day. A great day. I really hope I haven't been too rude to folks today. I'm so psyched. I'm so psyched. I'm never going to be particularly great with it, but it's it's really nice to have. And um, the wall plays bass, so when he comes down at the end of the month, it'll be interesting to see how how he gets on with it if he has a little plinky plink with it. Uh, you know, now all we need is a drum kit and um, like a piano or keyboard. And I think that covers all the uh, all the bases for most people I know. Um, Instrument-wise, well, other than like mandolin and flute and violin, that stuff gets really expensive. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna head off. So I hope you're well, and I'll see you all with a bit of luck tomorrow. Thank you.